Hello everyone and welcome back to Cities by Steven. You're talking to Steven, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Get that bell notification on too so you don't miss out on an episode. Welcome back to the series where last time we were here we started in a mountain town. A mountain town that's going to turn into a mountain skiing resort town. And that is kind of what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be expanding the, the mountain town uh, in kind of residential capacities, commercial capacities, and kind of continuing to give the town a bit of history, a bit of raison d'etre, but we're not going to really do the skiing part today. We're going to save that for the next episode where we can spend a lot more time kind of talking about uh, how to do that, how to do that and some, you know, a bit more minute approaches to it and then also connecting that to the wider uh, world. Um, I think that'll be a good kind of ending of this, uh, this, uh, this mountain town. So today's episode, more building in the town and kind of setting ourselves up to build the ski part next episode and building out into the mountains more. So let's hop out and take a look at what we did last episode. So here we are at Castle Mountain Station. I've changed the name a little bit. Uh, this is kind of the, the main hub of the town. And this is where, you know, people who live here all year round live and whatnot. But uh, here we go. We, we have our main train station over here. We have a bus stop over here, which we haven't used yet. We have some hotels, um, some larger condo buildings over here. And then we have this main kind of square area, which I'm envisioning in the winter. You arrive uh, for your ski trip uh, at this train station and you walk across the street and you have all these amenities. We have like a, an area over here where you can get some info, some tourist trap type stuff, some food, which maybe we should put a crosswalk right here. That would definitely make sense. Uh, but then we have our budget hotel bank, some older buildings, some residential buildings. Uh, and then we have our older buildings through this main street area here. This is a, a big square about. Um, and then we have some more restaurants over here. Uh, however, uh, a couple things that I was thinking about is I would love to get some like leisure, uh, some commercial leisure buildings out this way as well. Uh, and we'll talk about what we're, what we're going to do uh, this episode in a bit. But we also brought in a train line from the main areas over here run right downtown so it's a direct train line from the downtown to here uh, but we also brought a road in and we made this little intersection here with a diner uh, an old motel an old church and uh, what else we also built uh, an interchange over here as well setting ourselves up for the future um, but we also brought in an old road that was diverted over here um, so in today's episode we're gonna really give it a reason on why that diversion happened um, and then we also have a cargo station out this way, and then this is just placed down. This is a helicopter depot um, for uh, a medical helicopter depot, which we got to place in at some point. Um, but yeah, so that's 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 what we did last time. This is what we're going to be doing this time. We're going to be kind of focusing out over here, giving it a reason, some history to the town, uh, and then we're going to be focusing on the road layouts and giving it a cool area. Um, we're going to be using Whistler as Whistler, British Columbia as inspiration for this build, for this part of the build at least. Um, and we'll also be expanding it over here uh, as well. Uh, and then next episode, we'll kind of start diving into the mountains. So um, I want to start with uh, kind of some road planning and talking about where we're gonna be building next. Now, as I'm gonna be setting this up, I wanna say that I'm doing this right after, on well, the next day after I recorded the last episode. So I haven't seen any comments yet. Um, so I just wanted to kind of uh, let you know that if you have some really cool comments, uh, I do try to take them into consideration for the builds. Uh, so if you left a really cool one, you're like, Steven, you got to do this. And I don't do it in this episode. It's just because I haven't gotten around to it uh, yet because the video hasn't uh, debuted yet. But with the third episode, I'll be able to uh, incorporate um, the third episode of this little series with this mountain town. I'll be able to incorporate uh, your suggestions. So if you have any suggestions, uh, let me know in the comments and I don't think I'll record until this one debuts. Uh, so I'm going to be taking uh, zoning off here mainly because while I liked the idea of having low density residential out over this way, I think it's too much of prime real estate to be low density residential. Um, I do want to get that kind of style of building in, but I also think it's time to get some leisure uh, in. We don't really have any leisure at all. We have some grocery stores, some restaurants and stuff like that, some fast food-ish, some healthy fast food um, kind of places out of this way. But we don't really have like the bars 
and I'm picturing, you know, after a day of skiing, you're up here for a weekend, you go to the restaurants and stuff. We do have a little bit right here, and that's kind of what I'm thinking we continue down Julie Street here. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll, we're gonna curve both of these roads together up into this kind of section over here. Uh, and then this, what this is gonna do is it's gonna give us one, a street that we can turn into access for parking, for example, um, or to the lodges. And then on this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna eventually turn it into a pedestrian road where the majority of uh, this village is going to be. So I brought up this area here because I was gonna kind of just roughly mark out that this is going to be where um, we're gonna be building a lot of the ski resorts and stuff like that. But let's take a look at the topography because we're gonna need to change things up. So I chose this spot because it's a bit flatter, but we're starting to get up the hill. Uh, so I'm gonna, gonna actually choose a spot probably right about here. And this is where we're gonna be kind of flattening out a little bit uh, in this area. And as you can see, we're elevated slightly. Uh, so this is gonna be a good like launching zone for the gondolas going up to the, the resorts and stuff, or sorry, to the slopes. Um, so by kind of leveling this out, we're gonna kind of create ourselves like a bit of a base of operations. Um, and you know, I definitely see this being realistic uh, somewhat because they would have flattened out some terrain uh, for uh, some resorts and stuff like that uh, so I wanted to delete these ones and then what we'll do is we'll curve both of those roads uh, up so uh, we are going to just use the normal road for now we'll kind of come back and we'll choose uh, where we're going to start the pedestrianized version of this road uh, in a bit, but let's just get the basic road. Where is it? Where's the basic road? Here it is. And we're just going to turn on our topography so we can see where that, where those contour lines are. And what we'll do is we'll just kind of roughly place this one out and we need our snapping on and all these are on. Perfect. Okay. So we'll just kind of curve out like this. So 90 degree angle, 23 by 23. Uh, perfect. And then we'll do the same thing here. Awesome. Okay, so uh, Holly Street here is going to uh, turn into kind of where the, the main cars are going to turn uh, and then park in this kind of area up here, I'm thinking, is where we get a lot of the parking. And then we can have our main village over here. And then we'll sneak another road in from this side uh, where we can, um, sorry, this one right here where we can uh, connect up into this main area again where we can get some more parking because again this area is going to be all pedestrianized and so we're going to need places for people to park their cars whether they're coming here for just a simple day trip or if they are going to uh you know park their cars for a longer term we're going to need spots for that um this will give us a great uh kind of launching pad here for uh that village um so i might as well name it all right, so we have Castle Mountain Village, and uh, I actually had that name originally here, but I changed it to Castle, Ma Castle Mountain Station um, just to, to clean things up a little bit and change it up because this is where the real village is. When people are talking about Whistler, they talk about the Whistler Village, this kind of thing is what they're talking about. And we'll dive into some uh, Google Maps in a bit uh, when we're talking about that area, but I just want to continue kind of the road layouts with you all, um, and then we can start really zoning up and whatnot as well. Uh, Whistler, British Columbia is where part of the 2010 Olympics were held and it's um, where a lot of the, the partying was happening, uh, where all the ski and, uh, and sledding uh, competitions were. Um, very, very cool, very, very popular tourist destination in Canada um, and uh, yeah. So I'm thinking we're going to bring this one straight for as long as topography allows us. And then this road here is actually going to continue off into here, into the mountains. And uh, we'll then reconnect it up with this road. It's probably over here, actually. And maybe we can actually get that in today. Um, but let's figure out how we're going to curve up this hill slightly. So we're going to go up a little bit like that. And then I guess we can go pretty straight up. It's not That's not too steep. So we'll go to about there. And then um, let's think about maybe going a bit higher. Now what we'll do is we'll have another road kind of going this way eventually. And then this is where we're going to transition to just our rural 
uh, route. And then this one here is going to be the one that's going to kind of go through the mountains and uh, be a bit more lax with the sloping of things. And uh, I see this as a bit maybe more of a historical road through the through the mountains here. Um, I know we're kind of paralleling another highway, uh, but I think this will be beneficial in the long run and slightly realistic to have kind of this bypass uh, right there. So we have this bypass and then with that we can maybe have some older uh, buildings off this way or maybe like a secondary ski hill uh, off this mountain here. Um, and this one we can kind of curve up in the mountains a little bit. So I think that's a good solid uh, road connection. Um, so uh, with this one being the historic road, this one is maybe a bit more slightly newer road to, for access points and stuff into the mountains, avoiding the rail. Um, yeah, so that's a good one. Uh, I would imagine that we would have a connection point from this road into this pretty soon after the rail tracks. Should it be at this intersection? That's kind of my question. Uh, I don't know. I think maybe what we do is we see where this road's about to curve. So it's about right here. And then we just kind of go straight from this road in. All right, so we have no left turns from this side onto this road because uh, if you're coming from this direction, you have a better opportunity anyways. So um, I think that's okay. And then this adds like a little bit of a slip lane here. Maybe we can have some different parking or a different uh, hotel area over here. So that would give it reason uh, for that to happen. Um, and yeah, this is looking pretty good so far. So let's continue um, building out these road networks and then we'll move some of the residential out from this area and we'll move it into this area here. Uh, I could definitely see this being a bit more of the year round kind of liver, uh, people who live here kind of, uh, feel. And I think that's kind of what I'm, what I'm going for. So, um, we're using a pretty solid grid already through here. Uh, so I'm thinking we just continue it or shrink it down. I think I might continue it one more block. I really enjoy this layout here. This is uh, this is looking really cool. Uh, so with this, we have kind of continued our grid a little bit, but only kind of uh, within the parameters of this curve that we have. Uh, so I think that's really cool. Um, and we also kind of continued with this kind of area here, which was maybe the original part of the, the grid. Um, and maybe this continued through here uh, even further, but it was cut off when they decided to re kind of make the town and put this new bank in and put, make this whole area square. So this is maybe the original grid um, off of the rail, which would make sense. So let's kind of continue that through here, which would take us to right about there. And then this can continue out a little bit further up this hill and maybe even start going up uh, the mountain a bit at a different slope um, because we are kind of going uphill at this point. Um, so this one here could definitely continue up past the rail and then maybe into the the great unknown i guess and you know great unknown like this little grid over here for some reason so <laughs> that's kind of funny um maybe this is where the uh, helicopter depot will go actually this will be a good good spot for it uh, so let's put the topography back on and we'll see where we can kind of uh, head off into the the great wilderness <laughs> area um, so if we swing out this way i think we're going to need to change up the road type uh, but maybe we can go to about here and then we'll actually hit this at a 90 degree angle 89.3 is close enough and then what we'll do is we'll just continue down straight uh, into here at uh, a good angle close enough uh, so now we have another level crossing here that's okay we're gonna turn this road into a different type like I mentioned uh, so we're gonna go with uh, the, the highway I guess we might as well go with this one. Or should it be industry? I think industry is probably the better look for this area here. And then what we'll do, just because it's the rail, and then what we'll do is we'll switch it to highway here. Whoops. 
That's the wrong type of highway. I'm looking for the rural highway. Yeah, that's that's good. And then we'll make this all highway up to a certain point. Uh, and then we'll move the helicopter depot off of this. We need to find a flat area uh, for the medical helicopter depot. Um, and yeah, I think this is kind of just, just slightly out of the way so the helicopters aren't like right in the town uh, area too, which is nice. We'll select this kind of area here. We'll flatten it out for the helicopters. And then we'll come back here with the smoothing tool just to level it out a little bit. And then we'll move this helicopter depot. Actually, we're gonna probably uh, get a road for it. So we'll just use the highway just because it's a smaller uh, paved road. Um, and I don't really see traffic coming out this way. So uh, yeah, there we go, perfect. No trees on this building too. I think I've taken them off, which would make sense because uh, trees shouldn't be anywhere near helicopters. All right, very cool. So we can add in a bit of uh, other kind of buildings out this way, other industry buildings should we need to. Um, but this is a good spot for this helicopter depot. Uh, maybe if we have other light industry, like some garbage kind of thing that can go out, out, out here too, although we've already put our recycling plant out, out over here. Um, but um, yeah, we can, uh, we can deal with that later, but this was a good opportunity to get that medical helicopter depot in. So now our town is starting to really kind of come together here. Uh, on this side, at least, we have our main kind of roads and we can clearly get like another road connecting up through here, build it out a bit more uh, residential out this way. Um, but now it's time for kind of dealing with this part, I think. We've set ourselves up over here uh, with that, which we'll get back to in a few minutes. Um, but we need to give the reason why this road was diverted. So I was thinking it would be really cool uh, a cool idea here is if, well, one, we have this older rail grid, uh, is if we um, put like some old historic industry, because say this was like an old forestry area, like I mentioned before, oh, that would be a good opportunity to kind of get that thing uh, to kind of give uh, this more reason. Maybe add some forestry industry out this way. Uh, if maybe there was some old historical factories or something like that. Uh, along this road and they couldn't instead of like removing them because maybe they were still in use but we this highway was becoming more popular they needed to just divert around it now say they've gone under a little bit uh, it's the, the the economy of the town is no longer forestry it's it is um, uh, tourism right so if we type in abandoned we get uh, some really cool buildings here so we have this old factory so I think this would be really neat to kind of slide in uh, somewhere and this isn't a perfectly straight road um, but I think it's straight enough that we can kind of uh, work around it so let's place this factory right over here yeah we'll say maybe that uh, this road continued at one point um, so let's grab our dirt road here yeah that's too perfect not to connect so then maybe we have an old rail connection here. And then this factory is right beside it. All right, so we have this abandoned factory in here. I've added in some actual industry buildings in, uh, like over here, uh, which I thought kind of played well with the recycling plant. Um, and then we have some of like just a tiny building over here, an old warehouse. Maybe these ones are still in operation, but this, would, this should get just a, a couple vehicles moving around. And I'm actually thinking that I should have probably put one down over here too. Uh, that would be cool. Um, so we can go with uh, one that we haven't used. Uh, yeah, we'll throw this one down. Uh, and what I've been doing is basically just removing the concrete with them. Uh, 
just by adding some dirt and just you know going around the edges a little bit to kind of give it a bit more nuance uh, and then we got to make them historical uh, so that they don't disappear um, but yeah so just like these very few buildings will add a lot uh, to the the build here uh, because now it really looks like they couldn't have destroyed this building it was still in operation it was a bit too close to expand uh, the highway uh, like they needed to um, from this dirt road because of the rail right-of-way and the factory's property and stuff like that um, so yeah, I think this uh, this gives a lot of reason uh, for being uh, all right so that was a, a good uh, little side quest we did um, but now it's time to kind of get back into the zoning uh, of everything and whatnot. So uh, we are going to take out these buildings here. We're going to leave the, uh, the, the rectangle I placed here because we're going to just turn this into some um, commercial, I think. I think that's probably the best bet. Uh, so like I mentioned before a couple minutes ago, um, we're going to be looking to add in some bars and some leisure activity in here because these are the main streets going into the village uh, so I thought that this would be a good opportunity to kind of get some of these uh, these bars in and we need a new district so we have Castle Mountain Village uh, let's bring this down right into here and then we'll swing it all the way up and this whole area uh, will be Castle Mountain Village and then Castle Mountain Station which is just normal um, commercial but it also has green cities uh, this will be all the way down through here uh, and um, actually hold on I need a separate one because I need a third type of commercial so we're gonna remove uh, this actually here we're gonna create its own little district uh, through here just in this little pocket and maybe we move this one up a little bit further we'll see how it all plays out but I want to make sure that we keep uh, vanilla commercial buildings and then we'll do the same thing through here just like that all right and then maybe we even bring this one down through here yeah this is gonna be good and then this uh, castle valley we can bring all the way up uh, into this pocket and this should give us a good kind of uh, mix at least of uh, zoning We'll just keep it Castle Mountain, but we got to make sure that we have uh, the leisure commercial on here because this is where the uh, a lot of the restaurants are going to go. Um, and then should we have an industry type? No, I don't think there's going to be industry. Maybe if there are commercial buildings, we can make them look nice, like the uh, the old, um, oh sorry, the the new uh, the new condo kind of buildings with the green cities. And then if we're going to have any office, I don't know if we are, we'll make it wall to wall. Um, okay. Awesome. So let's zone in some of these commercial buildings uh, in these areas here because I think this will be a good little restaurant zone uh, through here. So we'll let these ones all come in together. And then over here, maybe we can have a bit more of the residential aspects to it uh, because if we're driving in, uh, you have an opportunity to turn here, which I'm not sure where that's going to go. Uh, whoa. There we go. Uh, we have an opportunity to turn here which can go into the village and whatnot. But this is the intersection that I'm looking at being the main one that you drive into. So you have this one, you can continue straight on into the village. Then you have this one, which you turn down and then maybe this one can be, have some, some restaurants. But then if you were to continue down through here, you have the bus stop here or the transit station, which is very convenient and some of the old buildings. And then down here is where all the party is gonna happen up into the village. Uh, so, yeah, this is awesome. We have some of these uh, restaurants through here, and then we have this uh, these little cut-throughs, which will be useful for people. Uh, but I don't love how this is zoning in. All right, this seems like a cool party zone. We have uh, a karaoke place. This looks like a bowling alley or something like that. Uh, we have a diner, awesome. We have an old uh, restaurant, and then we have this tall building coming in here, which is probably the same one as the one behind it, which I thought was fun to kind of have. Um, these ones kind of be competing, maybe same developers kind of kind of vibes, different different restaurants uh, in them. So yeah, I thought this was uh, kind of cool to do. We'll make this one historical, and the symmetry is actually kind of nice. 
Uh, we'll make this all concrete. Oops. We'll make this all concrete to kind of blend it together. Um, but but yeah, this way there's no like maybe a, a truck could get access here for these uh, garbage cans. Uh, but then parking wise, it all works out um, because oh, not really here. Maybe yeah, you can drive in right between these buildings for this these parking lots. You can access this one here. This one's right at the intersection, and then right here you can turn in for these ones. It's, a, it's very tight, but we'll say it works. <laughs> um, all right, so that's awesome, and I think that's a good amount of leisure actually uh, for this area. Although I would love to get some more restaurants in. I don't think there's enough building types in the leisure to kind of really work. Uh, so I'm wondering if maybe some of these tourism buildings could also uh, work out nicely uh, as some restaurants, but then we're adding in yet another district, which is fine with me. Uh, but let's, uh, let's see how we can get this to work out. All right, so I've added another district and I forgot to add that crossing in there. So we did that there. And then we also have a crossing here uh, in between all the bars. And I think this works out nicely. I, we don't need to do it everywhere. Like here, I don't think we need it, but here is definitely one that I think we should have. So uh, we're gonna go with the tourism one, like I mentioned. So let's add in the tourism commercial, which is right here. Uh, this one's just a small one. Maybe we can stretch it out a little bit further, but I like having these, uh, like a lot of these mixes that we have going on. Uh, because I'm looking at like this tiki bar and I think, think this one would be really fun to to have in place um, Even though it's the winter, I mean, I think it's I think it's really fun to do. We'll put it right in the middle here Yeah, right on the main strip here like that and then maybe we can have a lower level uh, restaurant flex gym <laughs> uh, Yeah, that'd be cool to have like a lower size one. That's too tall obviously um, maybe like this guy here. Yeah, that's really cool because then we can have people kind of walk up into it Then we have this old restaurant here, too. Uh, oh, this one's nice All right, so we added in some hotels and some more souvenir places. For example, this one says Patty's Pub, which is uh, awesome to see that the Always Sunny in Philadelphia people opened up a restaurant here. Um, and uh, we got some cool restaurants here. I love this restaurant here, this uh, the seafood restaurant, Swordfish Seafood Grill. Um, and we also have like a cool open patio here. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to see what else would pop up because sometimes, you know, the vanilla assets have like extra parking lots and whatnot on them. Uh, this will fill in. Um, but let's get some uh, residential and stuff like that uh, nearby too because um, I don't think we should have this area be the bars. I think maybe it would be cool to have uh, this area kind of uh, be condos and stuff like that. Um, so let's go with this pedestrian road type and then right in the middle here we'll kind of copy what we've been doing all right it's starting to fill out a little bit and i just wanted to notice a few things here so we're going to fill up this area with concrete in between these commercial buildings uh, and residential and I thought this was a good little mix up here Might as well fill in this whole side with concrete Should we do this whole thing with concrete? Uh, yeah, it just kind of cleans things up a little bit, right? Um, which is nice for these pedestrian zones although this area here would be perfect for some trees uh, Same thing in there. Yeah, okay a good little mix um, but but yeah, these ones look great together. There looks like they're different uh, shops, which is good. And then we have uh, a bar here. Awesome. We'll keep this one. And then this one's very different, which I like. And then we have another one here. Very cool. And this one's slightly different. Uh, although I don't think a building would spawn up like that. So we're actually going to take out these two. And we'll see what kind of pops in. 
Um, and we still haven't gotten any more commercial. Oh, it's because because <laughs> I didn't actually zone up the commercial here. That is funny. Well, hopefully that's okay. Um, all right. So uh, with that in mind, now that we have this kind of going through here, I would love to populate the rest of it. Uh, there were a few fun buildings that I wanted to place down uh, in this uh, area here, which I think are in the shopping malls. No, oh yeah, they're in the shopping malls, but over here. Uh, the uh, shopping plaza I thought was very thematic for being like a spot right in between here. Um, we'll pull it back so that there's a bit more parking or it looks like there's a bit more parking space but just like I thought this was very uh, typical of this kind of intersection here a bit of a strip mall here and then uh, this would allow us to kind of really start thinking about this area here which would definitely have some parking behind the strip mall so uh, let's get some parking lots All right, very cool. I like that. Uh, and maybe we can run a path behind here uh, just for the sake of convenience. Run a little path here. We'll turn off snapping and stuff like that. Uh, just right here, because it kind of looks like a good access point like that. And then this gives us a cool reason to kind of add a few things in. Uh, so like maybe a big residential building would kind of play nice here. Um, smaller commercial there actually I don't know we'll see how uh, we can manipulate the zoning uh, but this I could definitely see being a commercial building right there and then why don't we start trying to transition downwards into lower density residential uh, we'll add in some commercial here here and here and then we'll fill out the same thing on the other side but I said I wanted to try and manipulate the uh, zoning so we can do that with a pedestrian path All right, so I've zoned up all of this and I was just thinking about kind of touching on to the other side, but I wanted to get a good fence in beside the rail here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into um, our network multi-tool. I'm gonna go a, uh, to the uh, parallel road tool. We're gonna go all the way down to here with the parallel uh, road. We're just going, to, or well, we're putting a fence down I'm using the parallel road tool though to do that. We're gonna press plus once to move it off of the rail slightly, click enter. And there we go, we have a nice solid fence all the way through. We're just going to, oh, we have a little pedestrian access road here. I forgot about that. Um, this is probably a bit more of a legacy situation here with that other side of the rail track because we don't use it. Uh, so what we could do is make it seem like maybe there are some old paths through here. There we go. And then we'll do the same thing right here, but maybe we'll go paved. Just like that. And then we'll use move it here. We'll grab this node from the fence. And we'll bring it right into here, right into that uh, overhang like that. And we'll just select nodes so that we can be a bit more particular with this. There we go. That's a lot better. And then all the way back down at the beginning. We just need to add an addition because you don't want to go right to the road because it'll put it right in the middle. Uh, although we could have just adjusted it as we had just done, uh, but I thought it was easier to do it this way. Uh, and then right into here, be very careful, and there you go. So now we have a bit more space to put some of these smaller uh, residential buildings in. Uh, we'll go right up to here with the residential, and then uh, maybe we can just make the rest of it a park and uh you know with such a small space like this a good opportunity to uh to do that with is just with like a smaller path uh with decorations and then what we'll do is we'll just go right beside it leaving a bit of space all the way through and then we'll just reconnect up with a simple little curve like this 
And then this way it looks like a, a nice little walk along the, uh, the rail tracks. And there we go. So we have a lot of these smaller buildings in here, which is very, very nice to see. Um, and then what we can do is just come back here at the end and add some detailing to it. Um, uh, because like the spaces between these buildings here would be nice to fill in. Uh, ooh, this is a bit too tall of an office building. I do need to be careful when I place them in these office buildings to do them by hand uh, because I just don't see that kind of skyscraper -y type building being there. So we need a three by three at least or a three by two. So let's see if we can just kind of get a smaller one in. That one's really good actually. Although it's beside two like market stands, which is kind of funny. Um, I really like this one there, particularly because it plays in with this uh, cafe a little bit, which maybe we could change the cafe up to... Yeah, that one looks a bit older, so I like that. Um, but maybe what we can do is uh, delete this one here, and maybe we can make this a high density residential building, and we can see if that would make a little bit of a difference. All right, then over here we have a bit of, uh, what is this, leisure, it appears? Um, so let's delete that one because it's too close to this one. And uh, yeah, we're starting to get some of these uh, higher density, or sorry, low density um, buildings as well. Uh, so I think it's time to continue that low density zoning then. And what we'll do is we'll just use a basic uh, road and we will bring uh, that in right here. And we'll make sure that we have all of our snapping tools on and whatnot. We can bring this right down through here to connect up with the pedestrian kind of little connection there. And we should probably get a path from here across, no, nope, a bit further actually. So we need to turn these off again, uh, right here like that makes for some clean zoning and then we'll add in this to be commercial through here just like that and how does this look this looks a little bit better make these ones historical um, now I don't love the size of this one so we're gonna, I'm actually gonna take this out we're gonna see if we can get something a bit smaller and something that I can do to make sure that that is a bit smaller is take that part off there All right, this is coming along really really nicely i'm really enjoying the the kind of the height disparity as well oh that's this is a great size building uh so i'm going to keep this one um yeah this is really cool i'm really enjoying how the heights are working here and this wasn't a building that i placed so i'm going to take this one out it's a bit too large uh for that area because i while i have these newer condo towers here these are the tallest ones in this area that i want <laughs> I say that as this one's growing. Uh, so let's take that out and make these all historical. All right, this is coming along real, real nice. Uh, so as you can see, we kind of haven't expanded at all over here. It'd be really nice to kind of get that in. Uh, but we should also think about this. I think I placed this road down just for um, planning purposes. Uh, so I think it's probably time we start planning out the rest of the road networks and then uh, getting into the village area because that's something that I definitely need to touch on today. Uh, I don't know how much further we're going to go uh, with expanding out over here, for example. I don't think we're going to really do today. We'll save that. Uh, but we'll kind of fill out this area here, start removing the grid and changing it up a little bit and then kind of looking in this territory over here. All right, so uh, we've started adding this curve in through here. I think this is probably about as gridded as, gridded as we're gonna get now. Um, I think I'm looking at parking lots here for the ski hills as we move into this side. Uh, so I'm thinking what else do we need in this town before we start really looking at the village part of it? Well, I think 
our uh, something that we would need is our only education building in here. Um, maybe we need a high school. I don't know, but uh, I think it'd be nice to get an elementary school in here. But I don't want to get it too close to all the ski stuff, so I'm thinking we're gonna just tuck it away uh, in this area here. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll just run a simple little fence um, right behind here. Uh, so with that in mind, I think it would be cool to get a park as well nearby just to add in some um, leisure because we do have some over here, but we don't really have any over here. and It's just going to be dead parking lot space. So I thought it would be nice to kind of try and find a small spot for some sort of park. And this looks like it almost fits. We'll see. Yeah, well, yeah look at that. It does fit perfectly. So I just noticed that this building here isn't part of the Green Cities ones, and I love that fact. I think that's really cool. This person hasn't sold to all these new developers, uh, and I, I think that's that's neat. Um, all right. So again, we'll come back with some detailing later, uh, just to clean things up and, and whatnot, because you know there's a lot of sharp edges here. We definitely need to do that, so we'll do that at the end. Uh, but I thought this was a good little uh, kind of send off to the development of the town area and we'll save the rest of this stuff for later um uh, like next episode was we kind of dive into the ski hills but this is the spot that i was really thinking of that we needed to approach uh uniquely uh so we have castle mountain village here we curve up into this area uh this district type let's make sure that we don't we're not actually building it yet nice we're not is going to be european style and I'm just going to hop into a little Google Maps here. Um, and this is kind of Whistler, British Columbia, a pedestrianized street uh, area with restaurants and uh, lodges and whatnot uh, all in this zone. And this is something that I'm definitely thinking that I'm going to try and replicate. It's very cool. I've never been there myself, but everyone who has that I've talked to says it's just the most awesome experience uh, ever. It's like a... A, a, a real resort town uh, and as we've been kind of building up the town part of that we need to start thinking about the resort aspects to it now we do have a couple hotels uh, in here uh, like I said I just deleted this one and it came back so clearly the developers want this one we'll keep it um, and uh, and yeah so we do have some hotels here like this one this one we have the budget hotel uh, and this one over here but I think it's time to get some other fun features in here uh, so uh, with the fact that we're kind of going European style, I thought it might be interesting to try and use the old market square as a bit of like a main kind of zone for the uh, people kind of walking through. And I, and I thought that if we were to grab it and pull it right out like this, this could become like the main street and then we can get the pedestrian streets around it as well. Um, We'll see how it works out, but I think we're pretty much almost uh, perfect here. So this could just be like one feature of it, and then maybe they've added on over time uh, to, to the old market street. Um, so we have Sterling Street here. This one curves up. Uh, I think what we'll do is we'll back it out a little bit, and then we'll create a bit of like a little front for people to drop, uh, to drop people off and whatnot. And then we can get some extra parking out over here uh, and then this would be a cool kind of area to walk through and then we'll have some more pedestrian zones uh, pedestrianized zones between these two roads and into this area where we can have some fun european buildings Alright, so we have this kind of drop off area in here and this would be a cool spot for uh, some sort of park item as well, uh, which would be neat. Uh, we could just make it like a classic little park here. I think we should probably put a crossing uh, right here and we'll make that. Oh, perfect. There we go. So we can detail this up with some sort of plaza maybe uh, if we have any sort of plazas left uh, that we haven't used. Uh, let's see. Oh, we have these snow ones, of course which could be cool. Snow Castle Restaurant. Oh, that's way too big. 
The spa hotel is something we definitely need to add in. Uh, Santa Claus's workshop. Oh, awesome. That's so cool. I can't wait to use these. Um, they're so fun. Uh, and then we also have these awesome pedestrianized buildings which we need to add into. Oh my gosh, there's so much going on. Uh, we do have the statue of industry that's way too big. We have the meteor right statue, which I'm surprised we haven't used yet, uh, but doesn't really work in that case. We also have the disaster memorial. Oh, this one kind of works. And this would be really cool because maybe it was like part of the Olympic uh, aspect to it. Um, so yeah, that that's awesome. Uh, let's grab all of these items here, make sure they're at the same height. All these nodes, we'll make sure they're all at this height. There we go, very good, very clean. Um, so I think what we need that now is just to add in some paths around here. All right, very fun, I enjoy this. This is gonna be really, really nice. Uh, so where should we turn this into being a pedestrian road? I'm thinking this intersection here is actually a pretty good one uh, to do that at because we have this one major one leading to say future parking lots and then we have uh, so you just walk down it uh, to get there and then we also have this kind of it curves slightly here or maybe we even bring the pedestrian zone right through here that would be cool right down to this intersection at the bars uh, that would be very awesome so let's make a pedestrian zone we'll bring it all the way through here uh, and then we don't I don't know where it's gonna be on the other side but say it's over here Make this whole thing pedestrianized uh, up through here and maybe we have an access point through here so I'll just bring this into the pedestrian zone this whole thing I uh, will include this area here and this whole area is gonna be pedestrian zone I'm not sure the borders yet um, but we shall see uh, Alright, so we're going to need our pedestrian zone access point uh, and whatnot. So I was thinking we could kind of play it out over here. So uh, with uh, the helicopter depot area. So we'll bring this out over here. We'll separate it. And then we'll have our access points for our pedestrian zones uh, over on this side. So we have our small garbage service point. That would be uh, good. And maybe we can separate them into cargo and garbage instead of just using the one um, service point. Maybe we can just start with the, the one large one and we'll see how this uh, this plays out. All right, so that will uh, service this area. We can uh, maybe add just a touch of, of industry over here as well. I don't know what district we're in. I don't think we're in a district at all here. Uh, so I'll bring this one over here and then we can have uh, a forestry industry building over here and that should um, add a bit uh, to the area um, but okay so we have uh, to make these roads pedestrian now so we go to the pedestrian road which is here there we go and we'll make this one we'll go with the sandstone or the cobble let's go cobblestone uh, and we'll use the one with um, the media, uh, the trees in the median. I think that's always nice to use. And we can add this one over here too. It's a good kind of cutoff point. Uh, and yeah, this is really cool. I like this kind of turnaround here for the cars. Um, very, very neat. All right. So we'll make these, uh, we'll kind of turn these into some fun things to do. And then what we'll do is we'll just maybe continue this one straight up into here we'll see what where that takes us um, because we could have a connection point here which I probably believe we should have planned out because uh, it would be nice to run a pedestrian road right behind this so yeah let's grab this we'll just pull it out slightly so that we have that node available we can bring this one in we can stretch this back a little bit it's a bit funky but that's okay and then we'll use the pedestrian road with, uh, sorry, we'll just use the plain cobblestone road at this point. Small cobblestone road, perfect. And then we'll just bring this one right across here. So then we can connect up into there. And we have a lot of fun access points into these buildings here, which is very neat. And then this one can connect up pro uh, properly as well. All right, very nice. Uh, I'm loving this area here. This is going to be really, really cool. 
Um, all right, and then we should probably bring this one over. Maybe we can change this one out to be the uh, one with the median in it, and then we can have a connection point over here now as well. All right, so I think it's time to get some of these central hotels in. Um, and I think this will be a good way to start off, and then we can fill in the rest with some other European zoning. Uh, so what hotels did we really need to get? What assets did we really need to get in here? Well, one of the assets that I really wanted uh, was the nature reserve, um, or the nature hotel, Mountain Lodge. Uh, this one is so classic, kind of Whistler vibes. I thought this was really cool uh, to kind of get in. Oh, there's parking on it. Uh, okay, let's move it to a spot where we can have parking enter. So right here, maybe. And this would just probably be for taxis anyways. So um, that's fine. We have that access point. Uh, and then this can start leading up to the gondolas and whatnot, which would be cool. Maybe we can make this uh, zone street right here. Yeah, we'll see how this all plays out. But let's uh, get these other buildings in that we really wanted. Uh, like the spa hotel was was a cool one. Um, maybe this one can go. This is gonna have parking, I believe. So perhaps we can get this one on this kind of road right here. Oh, it doesn't have parking. Oh, ho, ho, ho. perfect. Okay, so we'll get this one very centralized. This one's very grand. Uh, and maybe maybe it's a bit over here though. Gives a bit of space. Very regal. I like that. Uh, but we said we we're going to put the gondolas there, right? Darn. Uh, okay. Well, this one can slide in somewhere. Let, let's find a good spot for it. Okay. I think this is a good bet for, for this area. Very cool. Good building. Uh, but let's get to these other uh, themed buildings that we're going to get. The Snowcastle restaurant, I just don't think looks good in the summer because let's, let's just place it down. It just looks too fake. So we're going to not do the uh, the Snowcastle one. Um, but uh, the ski resort one also, like this doesn't really make sense. It's not really realistic. Uh, and then the snowboard arena <laughs> as well. But the Santa Claus workshop, I bet, would look good. Yeah, look at that. That just looks like it's ready for uh, the winter. And I think this one would look really good um, somewhere on the edge of town, kind of like a small tourist trap kind of thing, not exactly right in the, the mix. We could place it kind of over here though, that could work, or kind of close-ish to the town, so then it's a bit more integrated, but I don't know, maybe, I think it would be really cool to kind of have over on this side of things, the Santa Claus workshop. I would bring in a bit more tourism out over on this side. So I'll plop it down over here. I really love this asset. This asset's incredible. Yeah, very fun. I really like this building. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I've never used this before. Uh, I mean, you can probably take out the Christmas tree with Bob as well, and then a BOB mod, and then uh, yeah, like like that looks just incredible. Okay, <laughs> so let's continue uh, down our asset uh, list. And Igloo Hotel, we're not going to add in. Okay, so there are other ones in parks that maybe we were thinking about adding in. Uh, the Ski Lodges, of course. There's going to be tons of these ones around. Um, these ones are, I mean, they're a little small, but I think it would be really cool for these ones to be maybe themed as restaurants. Uh, let's take out the parking with the BOB mod. Um, and this will definitely make it so that we can add them a lot more often. Yeah, that's awesome. That that this building is incredible. Let's see if we can get into a better view. Yeah, that just looks like I could see this being a fancy steakhouse or something like that. Particularly with uh, that that deck all the way around it. Yeah, that's awesome. So let's place some of these ones around. Um, my gosh, we have tons of space to fill though. We'll we'll get back to to those because I think those were a bit more of like filler. Uh, ones we could add in and this one is the cross, cross country skiing park okay no we're good uh, I'm sure the skating rink is is somewhere in here as well 
but it just won't look good in the winter or in the summer. The old inn could be a really neat one. I wonder if there's parking on it though. There is parking, okay. So maybe this is one of the original hotels in the area then. It's an old building that used to be out here, an old homestead perhaps. And we can get this one all the way out over here. Uh, okay, what other assets do we have that we can add in? Uh, well, this one we already used, but it would look good up here. Um, so we could probably try and, and hide the fact that we've used it before um, by placing it. We're going to need a road for this one, though. Um, yeah, that's where the gondola is going to go. Yeah, this I think we could get this one to work right here. Maybe a bit more of a newer uh, addition to the, the area. It's very Swiss, that's all. Uh, the reason why I'm, I'm thinking about it. Very Swiss looking. Um, okay, and then uh, we don't need a monument. Why did I click there? Uh, and then I was looking at some of these ones, and funny enough, there's a really nice hotel in the Africa DLC, which is kind of the opposite of Snowfall. But this hotel, I think, just looks so cool. I just don't think we could pass up the opportunity to use this one. Um, in this instance, it just it looks very unique. And it kind of changes the the vibe a little bit right so maybe not right there but i think we could definitely we should definitely add this one in a uh, very unique ho uh, looking hotel uh, we could even throw it right here on this corner that would be really cool uh so those were the ones that i was really kind of that were, that were really calling my name uh and then some of the shopping malls as well i thought were cool to kind of add in some of these open air malls I thought this would be a cool thing to kind of add in uh, these kind of areas here, which uh, let's see if we can actually get them to work, though. Yeah, because it just it adds it's that whole commercial square just in one in one asset. Uh, right. So um, maybe we flip it around, though, because we have parking on this side. What does the other one look like? one also has parking okay I think I like this one more so let's take we could just add them both to be honest in these areas it kind of makes sense to do uh, but it means that we need to re uh, make the street um, uh, non pedestrian again but I don't mind doing it like that that's pretty cool we could just make it a bit of a cul-de-sac like like this yeah that works and then let's bring this one in and then what we can do is just fill up that little pocket here with concrete. Yeah, very cool. And then I think maybe if we're in the, the right um, district here, we could probably throw down a few tiny buildings. I think it's this one, Elizabeth Square, we're going to need. If we just throw this one right in here, we could get a couple of cool buildings. And then this one we could probably just bring out over here and then get a couple uh tiny apartments oh it doesn't look like that's gonna really fit i was thinking we might be able to squeeze in oh yeah we can perfect okay squeeze in some apartments although we don't maybe not right in here maybe we can have a couple on the back side of it but this kind of looks like it's ready for uh people to walk through awesome okay so we can get more people in here too which is nice and then in this little pocket here, we should get some of these smaller commercial buildings. We'll see what kind of pops up. Yeah, just like maybe like a market stand kind of thing. That's what I'm, I'm hoping pops in there. Um, but we can also just do it manually. But this is uh, what I'm looking at. Oh, we just need all here. There we go. Kind of just like these guys. Oh, there we go. We got one already. Awesome. Okay, so we have a couple more buildings to throw down. Um, and they are in the pedestrian zone, which is in this one. Promenades and plazas. Where are we looking here, Stephen? Uh, that's the stock exchange. Ah, here we go. Okay, so the sunken shopping mall plaza I thought would be an interesting addition 
Uh, but it might ha not be in this zone. It might be like right here. No, no, don't really like that one. But this one is the one I was definitely thinking about using. Uh, and um, I guess this would be the best spot for it. It's, it's a straight uh, building. So yeah, why don't we do that? We'll delete this one here. We will delete this there. We'll back this one down to about here. And then we'll add that building in. Alright, so I think it's time to get some of these European buildings in. And I don't normally build with the European style, uh, so this is going to be a fun little change of, uh, of scenery for me. Um, let's bring this road up through here. I almost want to connect it right up into there, but I'm also worried about that. So maybe what we do is we bring this one here, connect this one right across like that, uh, and then maybe we can make this a pedestrian connection with the pedestrian road. We'll go back to the cobblestone. I'll bring this one straight and then just connect it up like that. Yeah, very cool. Because then this way we can get a bit more uh, European style buildings uh, in through here. Oh, don't like that connection. Um, so let's... Oh no, I lost my, my perfect grid. I needed that one. That's the That was the whole point of that. <laughs> so let's... Uh, Let's bring this one back. Perfect grid, please. Thank you. And then we'll bring this one down here. This is where we need. No, I lost it again. All right, so I'm not really sure what building type to use for this instance. Um, so I'm just gonna try and kind of mix it up a little bit. Depending on our demands, I'm, I'm assuming I'm going to go residential, to be honest. Um, but that's mainly because uh, I just kind of see that as a good option for um, getting people into here, into the area. Alright, these are looking uh, real nice. I'm, I'm really enjoying the vibes here. Uh, let's take a building off of there and here. I don't think we need those ones. Um, and I definitely think we def we will need to add in some different types of buildings. Um, but let's see. It looks like we've actually lost the grid here. So we're going to need to redraw in this road um, based on the Washington Boulevard one, uh, which we'll need to, need to rename, of course. Uh, so, we're looking at connecting here. There we go. Yeah, we lost it again, the grid. It's a bit tricky to see, but I'm, I'm a, quite the stickler for this kind of thing. Uh, it doesn't look like this grid is broken at all, so maybe what we can do is we can use this one as a bit of a guide. And then we'll bring this one down like this. We'll turn off our road guidelines, and this should allow us to snap in a little bit nicer. All right, well, we'll let this all come in, and I think a cool opportunity would be to get a, a road connection, a pedestrian road connection uh, from, we'll change up the type as well to the one with the trees on the side. We'll connect up here to here, uh, but we should probably make it uh, curved and whatnot. I'm not really too sure how we're going to approach the rest of this, to be honest. Um, I would love to get some other connections and, and whatnot, but with the parking and whatnot for the ski hills, I'm wondering if this is almost uh, ready to be just left for the rest of the, uh, like, to finish off the episode because we're going to do the parking, we're going to have some gondolas going up, parking, gondolas kind of going up, and again over here, uh, situation, maybe we should just save the rest to fill in uh, next time, but I would love to get a few other things going through here like um, in this kind of area I don't want to leave this all 
uh, empty because I don't know if we're going to have time to come back to the rest of it. So we'll bring pedestrian path in through here. That is not the right type. I was imagining we had this one already queued up. Um, and maybe it's time to get some buses going. That, that might be nice. Uh, so let's grab uh, our bus stop. We have our bus depot here. So we'll bring this one down to the train station from there. And this one will come uh, down through here. We should probably think about curving up there. So we'll get a stop there and here. We'll bring it all the way up uh, through there. And then we'll bring it right through all the malls as well. And then down uh, through to here. And then we'll return to the bus depot. And we'll get the reverse. Uh, of that. So we'll bring this one and we'll get a stop uh, right here. And then we'll get another stop there and all the way around. All right, there we go. Just a couple buses running down uh, and around. Um, and I would imagine that some sh shuttle buses could probably go into the pedestrian zone. Uh, I almost want to bring this one, instead of right there, like right up into here. Uh, so I guess we can start filling in the rest of this area then. Um, and we have our district tool all the way up to here. I wonder if we can maybe bring this one in. Pause the game really quickly because I want this to be European, but I want this slot to be different. Oh no, we're going to really need to be very careful with our zoning. All right, something I forgot to add was a taxi depot. I think that would be really necessary out here. So I'm thinking that maybe a taxi depot would be good uh, out kind of in these areas. Maybe we add it all the way out over here. Um, it's not a bad place for it. There we go. Pull it back off the road a little bit. Whoops, did not mean to click to. My game's lagging slightly. Um, all right, so we delete that. Yes, and then... Um, we'll pull this back a little bit to about there. Oh, we're saving. That's why. <laughs> okay, so we got a taxi depot, and because I was thinking a taxi stand would look uh, good out this way, I think this was uh, this would be a good kind of spot for, for when we take out that. And this is just uh, a kind of a, an area that would be uh, unique for maybe dropping people off and picking people up um, if, say, this area was a little busy. Um, so yeah, I thought that would be a good little addition here. Um, okay, wow, this is really coming along. This town's really, really cool. I'm really liking this. This is very neat. I'm excited to kind of continue it more uh, next episode, uh, building out in the ski part of the ski resort. We have a lot of the ho a lot of the hotels and stuff. Sorry, I had some hiccups there. Um, and I think we just need to add in a bit more uh, commercial buildings um, to really just fill out uh, the space. Oh, this is a good opportunity for a little pedestrian path connection here. So I'm going to move into a bit of a timeless. We're going to go back to what we did earlier and just um, fill in the rest with, uh, you know, trees and whatnot. So I think that's what we're going to do. And then we'll leave what I'm not going to build anymore, really, just kind of um, adding to, uh, adding some detail.
All right, well, I think the main part of the town is now complete. So I'm really excited by this. This looks really cool. I like the, the old history we've added in here, but also this is like a really complete looking centralized little town. It's got all the fixings that we, that we want. Uh, I could definitely see us expanding this area a bit more too uh, next time. With a bit more of these European buildings. Uh, but this is kind of the vibe that I was hoping for. I like the I like this little street here. This little corner here is really awesome. Um, I really enjoy this little arcade area through here. I think that's a really neat aspect to it. Uh, the hotels are really cool. Got a lot of shopping and things to do. Uh, but I'm really excited for next time where we can just focus on the ski hill aspects to things and then kind of linking it up together and tying it all together. And, um, you know, I think we have a few other options that we can do down the line as well. Hopefully we can get to that next episode. Um, but all in all, I think this is really cool. I'm just going to hide this little area here with some trees. I just think it's a bit uh, a bit too, uh, too out in the open. Yeah, that's a lot better. Um, so, yeah, this is kind of like our little service area. Oh, wait, this is the helicopter. Of course, we can't have trees near the helicopter. We gotta at least take out these ones. There we go. That's a, that's a lot better. Um, but yeah, I think this is really cool. I'm really happy with this folks. Uh, let's look at the train station here. How busy is it? That's actually, that's actually pretty good. It's not too, too crazy. Looks like I need to work on the buses a little bit, um, but that's fine. Uh, we can do that uh, later or I'll just do it off camera. But um, all in all folks, I really hope you have a wonderful day. Thanks for hopping back into CS1 with me. Um, and let's find a nice screenshot here because the sun is a bit off for the angle. That we need but uh yeah this is a good one yeah i just like that all right well hope you have a wonderful day folks uh talk to you soon peace out